gosh, am I feeling lucky right now to be able to be kayaking here again? I kayaked here last year, and it was just as beautiful as I remember it. Oh, it's such a nice day, too. I'm going to go into this little creek right now. I'm bearing witness now to yet another sunset here on the ICW. After three years of transiting this incredible waterway, we've come to expect such beauty. And so far on this trip, we haven't been disappointed. We arrived to the mouth of the Alligator River, Pungo Canal, earlier today. We'd spent some time exploring Little Alligator River here in North Carolina, as you saw last time, and plan to continue our way south tomorrow morning. We'll be transiting the Pungo Canal an area I've been looking forward to revisiting since we began our trip down the ICW. It's already past mid-December, and if temperatures remain balmy, as they have been, then we're in for a treat on this passage today. So excited about this canal. It's um, it's really cool because it's the trees are really close, like it's narrow, so you're very close to the shoreline and you can like see the birds and um, kind of think about the bears that are possibly watching you. <laughs> um, I don't really even know exactly why I love this canal, but um, it's just really pretty. It's unique. It's unique and it, I think it's really cool to be in a waterway so close to shore. Like, I just love it. Um, yeah, and it's so beautiful today. Gorgeous. It's so warm. The water here is pretty yellow. It's been like this since we left Coinjock. And it's basically tannins that are in the water, which um, I guess tannins are just like decayed uh, plant matter. It's not very pretty because it's, yeah, it's this yellowy brown color and it stains things like our toilet. It's perfectly natural, um, these tannins, and they're actually supposedly even good for certain things. Like one of our buddies was telling us they're good for like the engine, like they lubricate something or I don't remember or understand exactly, but anyway, so. Completely harmless, but yeah, funky yellow looking um, waves and the water even looks blackish in areas where it's like really concentrated. This canal, 21 miles long, is just a small part of the incredible 3,000 mile long ICW, or Intercoastal Waterway. A combination of both natural rivers, bays and sounds, and man-made canals, its unofficial beginning is the Manasquan River in New Jersey where it connects to the Atlantic Ocean. It continues all the way down the eastern seaboard, where in Florida there is a gap or two, and ultimately picks up on its east coast and runs through to Brownsville, Texas. There are numerous inlets that connect the ICW to the Atlantic, so boaters can enter and exit at these points. We're using the ICW to travel through North Carolina, where it's regularly dredged and runs fairly directly along the coast. We've heard that further south, it becomes more windy with shifty shallows and have always opted to jump offshore for the coast of South Carolina and Georgia, as we'll do again this year. My eyes are just like glued to the shoreline uh, because I had heard for the past three years when we were here, just make sure there's nothing out here. Um, I had heard that there were bears. I had read that, but you know, until you, know someone that has seen one it's it's a little bit different and I know our, one of our friends was cruising through here just about a month ago and literally saw a black bear swim right across this canal in front of him so it's exciting and it's not that cold yet so maybe they're not hibernating yet I don't know but yeah it's what I'm gonna be doing for the next four hours that and looking for bald eagles Besides being beautiful, there's something else the ICW has to offer that, as sailors in this winter month of December, we appreciate perhaps more than anything else. The protection from weather that's happening right now, just outside of it, in offshore waters. In order to transit the ICW, one's mass cannot exceed a height of 65 feet in order to clear its many bridges. So for everyone else on boats with taller mass, jumping offshore is the only option. Because of this, our friends on sailing vessel Delos took the outside route, 
And thanks to the Gulf Stream and the time of year, they're enduring weather right now that we're happy to avoid. If I was a bear and I had not gone into hibernation yet, I would definitely take a swim on a beautiful day like today. So I am hopeful. Yeah, he was pretty nice about it. Yeah, Underwater objects. I believe it's sticks. Huh. How far in is this boat ramp? I don't know. This is really cool though. Not what I was expecting. Wow. Oh. I mean, the reason I don't have to pop up is the bigger the bigger boats than this are coming through here boat ramp, right? Yeah, that's true. all these years we've passed by this spot and never explored in here. We're always trying to make as many miles as possible. Yeah, and it's never this warm. Although you would know it from how I'm dressed. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, what a cool little spot. Signs of civilization. Yeah, it's a little road here, huh? Crazy. There are definitely not that many spots in this area of the ICW um, where you have access to like any kind of infrastructure so like roads and stuff and see cars and everything because it's pretty off the beaten path but um, it's kind of cool that you can just kind of get to shore easily here and walk around because something that's a little bit hard to manage on a cruising boat full-time liveaboards is getting regular exercise um, cause it really just depends on where you are. So we go through seasons of life where we get cardiovascular exercise every day. Um, and then other seasons where it's hard to get it, like going down the ICW in December. So this is a real treat. And, um, I'm on the side of the road here, but I'm just, I just keep looking behind me into the woods cause I hear things. I don't know if it's birds or what it is, but, um, yeah, it's just such an unbelievably gorgeous day. 
for the middle of December. Um, well, for any time, really, it's beautiful. Bill is just landing the drone right now. I might get into these woods real quick, <laughs> just to explore a little bit. Super quiet in here. It's so serene. Today we're inching very close now to Cape Fear, North Carolina, our offshore jump off point and end of our journey in the ICW. It's December 20th and the weather has finally returned to its predominant pattern for this time of year. We spent the last few days in typical ICW fashion, which besides making more southern miles, included a rig check following a vicious squall. And later, a reunion with our buddy boat Delos in Beaufort, where they came in from offshore via the ocean inlet there for a brief stop. Wow, the sun just came out and some dolphins just came by. After those dolphins came by, the sun stayed out for the most part and there have been some incredible things um, that we've seen coming through here. Not all of them did I get filmed, but um, lots of like big bald eagles and um, a lot of pelicans, which I think are so cool. I love pelicans. Um, they're just such huge birds. It's sunny now and we're gonna go through this bridge and then we got five more miles to go after this bridge and then we're gonna anchor for the night. Before we do all it over again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Time to go in the ocean now. I, I know. We're getting close, close to breaking free. I'm getting a little bit I'm sick. I'm getting a little scared for you to this. crashed into the bridge and dropped I-beams on the north side. Take it off now. What do you say? Pick it up now? You said pick, pick it up now. Y'all pick it up now maybe? I'm not sure. Oh right, yeah. So this bridge has been kind of damaged. I keep hearing about it on the radio. We got lucky here. We were able to go through.
us next time when we jump offshore and enjoy some beautiful sailing on our three-day passage to Florida.